All right, what's up everybody? So today's the first day that we're gonna be starting our review of a, well, a cooler. <laughs> so something a little different here. But anyways, we got a uh, 20 bag pound of ice sitting on my windshield over there. And uh, let's go ahead and switch the camera view around and get this video started. We're probably gonna be doing a, uh, this is gonna be a seven day review on this particular cooler. So something new, something different, but uh, let's get it in the, the uh, cooler back there and get that ice nice and chilly before it starts getting kind of warm. Here we go. All right, so, you know, summertime is pretty much almost here. It's uh, it's springtime right now, it's April. Today's actually, what, April 22nd. And, uh, and with that being said, uh, you know, last summer it was extremely hot here in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. And, uh, you know, many days at work, sweating, being worn out, tired. I would have loved to come to the back of my Forerunner here and uh, I grabbed a cold bottle of water or a cold drink or something like that. And uh, so that's the purpose in buying the Lifetime 55 quart cooler. Anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and kind of get things set up. Now, last summer I didn't have, I had this cooler, okay? But I really wasn't using it a whole lot. And then just about two weeks ago, I uh, I, 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 I pulled the old, uh, the old Igloo 48 quart 76 can cooler out of the, uh, the backyard, uh, you know, area and my little, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my, my memory brain fart, but anyways, the, uh, the shed. Okay. I pulled it out and I started to, uh, to buy a bag of ice and each day, you know, put, put some, you know, ice in here and all that. Right. Cause again, it's nice to come out and, you know, put your, put your drinks in and grab a cold one. So anyways, with that being said, this is just your basic egg glue. You know, you probably can buy one of these coolers for, you know, 20 bucks, something like that. Um, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Anyways, here's the dilemma though, right? A 20 pound bag of ice is just around $4.78. That's what I just paid for it. So let's just round up five bucks for that. Um, just about every other day, maybe even less than that. Basically, I'd put the ice in and by the end of the day, I mean, the ice is already all watered down. The water's still cold, but the drinks are cool. They're not cold and there's not really any ice in there. So you're spending on a 10 pound bag of ice, which is about $2.50. We're spending about $2.50 every day on a bag of ice just to keep the drinks cold. Now add that up over a week, over a month, this, that, and the other. Next thing you know, you know, you've done spent the price of the cooler. And the next thing you know, over six months, you done spent the price of this cooler. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get the ball rolling. And, uh, you know, one thing I like about the uh, Lifetime cooler here, now listen, I've had, you know, we've had options to look at Yetis. Um, at, at Walmart, where I got this particular cooler at, you know, the next brand in there is the Ozark ones, which are really nice, and they look really close to a Yeti. I did notice on the Ozark ones, and I wish I would have picked my camera up or my phone up out of my pocket in Walmart today and actually did some filming in there. That would have been a good idea. Maybe we'll do that again at a later point in this video. But anyways, I did notice on the Ozark that the, the fit and finish of it was not just not as nice as the Yeti, right? I mean, just the edges, you know, you could tell they didn't really clean things up. But for the most part, it did, you know, it does get the job done. Anyways, this cooler right here, this Lifetime 55 quart, was 96 bucks, okay, plus tax. So anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and get the ice bag in there because we only got one hand. Um, it says you can hold, let's see here, up to seven day ice retention. Fits 60 cans with ice and you got a five year limited warranty on it. So basically a hundred bucks for this. The 56, uh, the 56 quart uh, Ozark was a hundred and thirty eight dollars so anyways i know it may be a few dollars difference in your town where you live at but again 138 dollars for a 56. still a great cooler it might have a few things on it that were different you know like on the side of the uh on the side of the uh the ozark it had a little chain thing right here you know that kind of thing but really honestly i kind of like the latches better on this lifetime one the, uh, the Ozark one just had like a little post right here and you pull it down and kind of latch it in. Really didn't like that so much. So I really like this a little bit better. So anyways, made in the USA, which is also nice. And um, so we will give this cooler a test with the 20 pound bag of ice. We're gonna put some bottled water in here shortly. 
maybe a few more drinks, and we're gonna kind of gauge things over the next week or so with that bag of ice there and, uh, and see how it really does do. Because prices of coolers have definitely came down and there's other companies like Lifetime here making them. And uh, I think, you know, hey, when you're sitting there in the store looking at Yetis, which are extremely expensive, or, uh, or whatever brand you're looking at, you know, there's a lot of brands out there. These coolers do start getting kind of expensive. And I think the 55 gallon or 55 quart one's a good size. It is a little big, takes up some room in the back of my Forerunner here. And I really did contemplate getting the one that's around 24 quart, 25, somewhere around there. But the 24, 25 really, to me, is just not enough to hold as much water and canned drink and stuff in it, okay? It's great if you're going on a picnic or, or going out on the boat, but I think this one is great to have stationary in the back of your truck, in the back of your car, and uh, you can put more in there than just drinks. You could put your meat and, uh, and just get a good bit in here. So I think that's very important, especially when you got a family. All right, let's go ahead and uh, open the uh, bag of ice up here and get it all moving around a little bit, okay? All right, there we go. And uh, next stop, we'll go to the store, grab some drinks, throw them in here. Right, everybody. You know, so right now, um, currently, we're still going through the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Um, things are starting to, uh, to open back up. I think here in Charleston, South Carolina, the beaches are gonna be reopened again. Um, this weekend, uh, this past weekend, they went ahead and uh, opened up the, uh, the boat dock, you know, the docks and, uh, you know, so people can get their boats and stuff out on the water. Um, I think one of the rules with the boats right now here in Charleston is you can't have maybe more than three people on your boat. So, you know, if you got you and your wife and your child, uh, that's really the max. So uh, three people, something like that. Or I think it's like, uh, if you're married, you know, your husband and your wife or husband and husband, wife and wife, you know, however that goes. But um, so things are starting to kind of, you know, gradually get back to to normal. But anyways, that really has nothing to do with uh, coolers. But with all that being said, people are going to start buying coolers again. I have noticed, though, that um, that Walmart um, and other stores are really uh now maybe it's just springtime and that's really what comes around springtime but a lot of camping stuff a lot of that stuff um maybe i'm just picking up one or just noticing it but um a lot of that stuff seems to be out in the stores i don't know if maybe uh you know maybe it's because people are home more or uh, or maybe they're they're uh, they're quarantining themselves and going going camping i don't know but um anyways uh, i'm excited to see how this video goes with the coolers my first time ever even doing a video like this most of the time i'm doing car reviews but uh, we're trying something a little different. Um, one thing I'm curious of is, you know, a lot of people with coolers sometimes, you know, let's say you're a construction guy or out there building homes or, or doing whatever, or, you know, or you, you're out going out with the family with your truck or your boat. A lot of times your cooler will be outside of the vehicle in the back of your truck bed or something like that, or strapped down on the trailer. Um, in my situation, my cooler will be inside of my Toyota 4Runner during the day while I'm at work. So one thing to definitely pay attention to is it probably, um, it gets a lot hotter inside of my vehicle during the day than maybe if the cooler was actually outside of the, uh, the vehicle, right? The car gets really hot on the inside. Um, now, but it does have some shade in here since it's inside of a car. So I don't know if those things matter or not, but we're doing my review as if you're getting a cooler, you got an SUV and you keep it inside your vehicle and you're going, going to work every day, that kind of thing. Cause there's gotta be people just like me out there that, um, that actually, you know, enjoy, uh, enjoy maybe having a cooler in the back of their, their, their Jeep Wrangler or their uh, SUV and, uh, you know, want to just get in it and grab a cold drink, you know? So anyways, there we go. Hey everybody, we're doing just a uh, quick update on the cooler here. Uh, today's two days later, it's Friday. We bought the cooler on a uh, Wednesday afternoon. Um, so anyways, again, today's Friday, just around uh, 1230 or so. Anyways, let's take a look at the cooler and see how the ice is doing. All right, here's our cooler. Let's go ahead and open her up. 
still loving these latches. Ah, there we go. And uh, as you can see, just two days later, we still got ice in here. Now, of course, the ice is melting, but I mean, the waters are ice cold. <laughs> I mean, ice cold. Uh, can of Coke here is cold, but yeah, I mean, still got good ice in here. I mean, heck, you could sit there and put it in your drink and drink it. But uh, yeah, so let's see. I mean, this is just two days of it. The weather temperature here in uh, Charleston the past two days has been in the uh, upper 60s, so it's not really all that hot outside. So I definitely am curious to see how it does in the, in the summertime when it starts warming up. But, um, but so far, doing pretty good. I mean, even the other cooler was, uh, was a day max, even with weather like this. So anyways, i am uh, so far been pleased with the, uh, with the Lifetime 55 uh, quart cooler. It's doing a good job. Oh, and that is the same bag of ice that I bought on Wednesday. So I have been tempted to throw another bag of ice in there, but that's the 20 gallon bag or 20 pound bag of ice that we put in. And uh, yeah. So anyways, we'll continue this review for seven days and uh, we'll be ending it on, uh, I guess this coming Wednesday. So we'll see how it does. It's, uh, it is melting though, it is melting, but it is still freezing cold inside of that cooler. And the whole object to the, uh, you know, to, to, to pay in the extra money is for it to still be cold many days later. You know, you get tired of having to buy ice every day if you're using a cooler on a daily basis. All right. All right, everybody, what's up? Today is day four of the ice, uh, of the ice, well, the, yeah, the cooler, the cooler here. So anyways, um, Today's day four, and uh, let me tell you, unfortunately, day four, we are pretty much done because uh, the ice is pretty much all melted. Let me show you. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't have bought a bag of ice today if there was still ice, cold ice in there, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, it is, I mean, it does say up to seven day ice retention. Now, we do, you know, I, there may be other factors to take into consideration on this. Maybe, maybe you're supposed to put more ice in the, uh, you know, in the cooler. Again, all I did was a 20 pound bag of ice. So I am kind of, I actually would say though, 20 pound bag did pretty good. But this morning when I got to work, I opened it up and grabbed a bottle of water and it was like this right here. So anyways, we started on Wednesday. So we went Wednesday, Thursday, and really more like Wednesday afternoon, Thursday afternoon, Friday afternoon, and then Saturday morning, it was like this. But again, that was 20 pounds of ice which really kind of was right up into here, if you can remember. So anyways, maybe if you pack this thing full of ice, seven days will rock and roll for you. So anyways, it's all good though. Hey, we're gonna try it out again soon here and uh, we'll fill it up, you know, all the way and see how, uh, if it'll hold for seven days. But, you know, we're gonna kind of end it off on this. Again, just a 20 pound bag of ice. So anyways, hey, still enjoying the cooler. The water in the cooler is cold and, uh, and the drinks are in there are, are still cold. So. That's definitely a, a plus. And isn't that the main thing to have cold drinks in your cooler? So anyways, water's still cold. I like it. Other than that, it seems like a great cooler. We're happy with it. Um, and uh, yeah, my wife's happy with it. We all like it. And I think it's going to be a great addition to the family, having a nice, nice cooler. So anyways, this is our first time buying a, a little bit more expensive cooler. And it's seeming to do a, a good job. So yeah, anyways, check it out. The Lifetime Cooler at, uh, at your local Walmart. It may be worth the bucks. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed a video like this, make sure you let us know. Maybe we'll do more videos other than just automotive reviews. Maybe we'll do other kind of reviews. That's the whole uh, point of being a YouTuber, right? Trying things and seeing what works. We'll see you soon.